Hey guys, Related Christ here. Oh, that was really loud. Okay, hey guys, Related Christ here, and uh, welcome back for another video this afternoon. As always, need to wake up earlier. Okay, besides the point. Um, So, let's jump into the verses that I was reading today. I, I was reading John 4 and 5, and in John 4, 23 through 24, it said, Yet a time is coming and is now come when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for they are the kind of worshippers the Father seeks. God is spirit, and his worshippers must worship in spirit and in truth. So, it's a heavy topic right now on our enthusiasm in Christ. And as in church, I, I mean, I see some people literally saying... Jesus, I am broken without you. You know, I, I am just broken. You are awesome. You created two trillion galaxies that I can't even comprehend. I can't even comprehend like ten, but, you know, not even like one. Have you ever seen a galaxy? Well, of course you have, but have you ever actually seen what is compacted in a galaxy? One. But he has two trillion, all right? In, in the Trinity... Jesus died on the cross, and we should admit that we're broken, and we should truly worship him. I was doing the Precious Cornerstone song the other day, and I'm trying to listen to the words more, and listen to what they're actually, what they're actually saying in the words, of course. Um, and yeah, I mean... It's it's hard sometimes that you get caught up in trying to find, oh, am I going to be a tenor or alto or soprano in this song or, or maybe a bass? You know, what what kind of a, what kind of voice am I going to do? What kind of whatever it is called? But, of course, we need to be the true worshipers. And, yeah, I'm being a total hypocrite right now because I am, I am sometimes a true worshiper. My enthusiasm is dull. My conviction is is kind of poor right now. I mean, I woke up in the morning really late, and I need to wake up earlier, but that's for everyone. But and I woke up kind of late, not really convicted to read my Bible, and not really convicted to read my journal. And I've, and all of us, I mean, and this is your high point in your spiritual life right now. Be a true worshiper, dude, and and keep persevering with it. But you know, for those, pray that we all do not have dull enthusiasm. And by the way, check out my dull enthusiasm video. Uh, I'll post a link to it, or you can just go to my channel under videos, or just look it up on YouTube. So, of course, um, but yeah, uh, true worshipers, and we need to worship them in spirit and truth. And what what we worship him is finding our pitch. That's the Bible didn't say, worship him and finding your pitch and dull enthusiasm. Ah, oh, so full of the Spirit. No. Okay. As Christians, we're supposed to be true worshipers and spirit and truth and everything into it. And some of us ask, oh, wait, do I have to, like, press myself into this song? Well, kind of. But what he's asking you is... To be a true worshiper, you have to die to yourself. You have to admit that you yourself are broken. As an individual person, are broken. Doesn't matter what you've done in your life. I mean, if you've done some great things, like, hey, you might have wrote a really famous fiction book or a really famous novel or something, and you got all this money, you are still a broken person. And once we admit that, we just praise God. We are we become true worshipers after that. Uh, so of course it's gonna be kind of a short video today. Um, sorry that it kind of ended short, but uh, I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in once again. I pray for all of us that we always have a convicted enthusiasm, not dull enthusiasm. That we are going to be uncomfortable and willing to change, but to not sit down and make ourselves comfy. I love you guys. As always, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, uh, share this channel and videos with your friends, family, and 
strangers on the street, uh, God bless and worthy is the Lamb. And pray that we will become true worshippers. I love all you guys. Peace out.